A good hello and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. This is episode 23. Last time we finally found our way to this village here. Um, and it's not really much of a village. Where the tieflings, those remaining, are holed up. Uh, we met this character here, who I've forgotten the name of, Jahira. And we're going to speak to them shortly. But I was, as I said in the last episode, between episodes I'm going to do some housekeeping. Uh, and when I went back to camp to try and swap out party members and do that housekeeping, you know, go through all the shops and get people new equipment, I discovered that the other characters have some things to say about Karlax, so we're going to explore that together. I, I, so act, I skipped through it by accident, and then, uh, so I missed out on it anyway. Um, but it made me notice that it was there. So we're going to go back, we're going to do that. Then we're going to come back here and get on with it. So, yeah, let's let's go do the housekeeping. But first, we're getting that lovely, lovely companion dialogue. So first, uh, you're going to stay behind here. I'm soldier. Ah, oh, come on. Oh. So here we go. Asterion was the one that I noticed it on. So, the untouchable Karlak is untouchable no more. I shake her hand, but she can still snap me in two, so, uh, uh probably safest to skip it. <laughs> um, I need you in my party. Darling. <laughs> okay, Neither. so there's Asterion's comment on the matter, and I'll go grab the other two in a moment. Well, not two, because I guess I missed Lazelle's comment on it at some point, because I probably skipped through it when I gave her her armor. Uh, but that's fine. We can still get Will's, no, Gail's comment on it. Gail! I know well the pain of seeing your life's hourglass running empty. Grasping at any means of slowing the grains as they slip inexorably through your fingers. Karlak's fate may be ordained, but her actions are not. She will make each breath count. We can be sure of that. Yes, we can, but I need you to join me. It was a delight to speak with you. What can I do? I need you to come with me because I need... With pleasure. Lead on. I need to organise some inventories. So, with my new party selected, I'm just going to check that Withers has nothing to say, and then I'm going to do some housekeeping of, you know, organising, going through, buying and selling, if they've got items to sell on them, uh, from both... Damon thou hast now and the other person. Companion. Take care that thou art not distracted on thy quest, seeking the comforts of the flesh. What are you talking about? Um, hang on. What? It was just a moment in the weave. Bosoms haven't been involved yet. <laughs> um, you mean Shadowheart? Gods, I wish she were my bosom companion. Isn't it? Isn't about the flesh. It's about companionship. Ex excuse me. Um. <laughs> I mean, what business is it of yours? Um. What? <laughs> uh, I'm more inclined to say this, but also, what? Excuse me? Recall that in time, all becomes dust and bone. Right? What? Fate spin. Dost thou require a new ally? Okay, so he did have something to say. That was... Right. That was... What? Need anything? You see something that's already fabricated is tough. But I can try. How many do you have? Hellish masks? What hellish hmm. masks? I thought I sniffed American scent somewhere. These must have been a pain to get a hold of. I don't even remember American picking them up. Brittle, so what I make won't last as long as my usual pieces. What are you making? What did I find? Clearly it was in one of these guys' inventories. There. Be careful who sees you using that. 
might draw the wrong sort of I vibes. sold a whole bunch of masks and things. Or it's an explosive that you made from it. Well, that's not the greatest. It's a pretty good explosive, though. Were these the masks that we found in the witch's hut? I don't know, but... I mean, it's a good explosive, but... I'll just give it to you there, I think. Um, right. Well, Damon. Need anything? Yeah, I came here to buy buy stuff. I think. Oh, that's why she keeps getting stunned when she attacks other people. It's her weapon. I thought chance to stun the wielder was a chance to stun the enemies, not chance to stun the person who's using it. Oh, that's the downside of this weapon. It does a lot of damage, but you could get stunned. Oh, okay, well then, yeah, I'm swapping you out for this one. Thank you. I mean, it's good, but it's not good enough to, to account for that. We're also going to sell your old armor here, because we don't need it. Um, it's the same as that, but uh, yeah, we're just going to sell it. Because you can buy that easy enough. Um, yeah. But I'm going to get you this halberd, because Polar Master works with halberds, right? Polar Master. Yes. Yes, it works with halberds. Wonderful. Let's get going. Yeah. I've finished with inventory management and setting up the characters with new equipment. So for Asterion here, who is now in our party, so that we can go talk to Raphael there um, and see how that goes. I have well, given I him... I went and bought this sword that I thought was really cool. And I've got that alongside this one. I went and bought him the two hand the two weapon fighting thing just to bump that up even higher now that you know um basically in theory it should yeah it means that both have the same chance to hit so he's got both weapons now uh, i got him a new bow as well and i was considering swapping this out for the other one but that one's probably better I couldn't find new boots, so this is what we've got him with now. Um, I haven't dyed these new gloves, but I probably should have. Um, never mind, we've got him sorted, aside from dyeing those gloves, which we'll sort at some stage. I've also, for myself, I have gone and respect myself again to get that point out of constitution and get strength up by two. So that I don't have a negative on strength. Uh, that way we're in the positive on everything now. Which is quite nice. Quite nice indeed. Um, now our athletics is plus one. Because we have um, the boots. Yes. These boots give us plus one to athletics. So yeah. Here we go. We're ready to start talking to characters. Please. Be welcome. Have a drink. Oh my god! To your very good health. Um, smell the wine first. Um, you'll have to pardon my friend Karlak, she's very excited to meet you. Yeah, I don't think I need to smell the wine. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean... It's an honor, milady. I will gladly drink to your health as well, Garlack. Um. You know what? We'll do it, and we'll just disguise it as. Oh yeah, we're we're taking in the bouquet of the wine. Roll high enough. Good. You perceive a faint hint of cloth grass, a herb that is said to elicit the truth. Jahira smiles at you knowingly. Okay, it fair enough. It doesn't spoil the taste, if that's what you're wondering. 
don't know. I'm not always in control of my magic. Who knows what will happen if I drink this? You will be refreshed. And I will be reassured. Fair enough. Drink the wine. Bottoms up. I have no issue being being truthful. Mysterion has issues with me being truthful, but that's fine. Well over a century old, and yet it hasn't lost a hint of flavor. Still not quite so sure about you, though. People tend to lose more than just flavor when illithids get their hands on them. I speak from experience. There's an air about you. Something alien. Answer me true and do not well, lie. Well, I'm guess Yankee. The parasite is changing you, isn't it? Well... I see now why you spiked my wine. Yes, the parasite is giving me powers and it's not changing me for the better. Suppress the truth compelling drug with your innate magic. I, it's trying to change me, to win me over, but I'm resisting its temptations. Yeah, I'm... I don't... And you're certain you will continue to resist? Yes. Well, I'll do everything I can. I'll drink the bloody woven poison. Good. I will take your word for it. And hold you to it, too. I have every reason to be cautious. I've traced people like you. People with parasites in their brains. All the way here from Baldur's Gate. The cult of the Absolute is spreading through the city. Quietly, quickly, and with unsettling deliberation. We tracked them to this ancient village, only to be faced with a man we killed and buried over a century ago. If he's back, perhaps you should have hit him harder in the first place. Uh, who was, is he? General Gatherick Yep, Thorm. I gathered that was probably going to be him. Name. He's the leader of the Absolutists. Not surprised. He was a Sharan once. Yep. Took to building an army and now I'm wishing I had... beneath this very village. Alongside the local druids, we made it our business to see him deposed, dead and buried. But he's returned. Not only does General Catherick Thorn live again, it seems he is no longer mortal. He has become, in fact, invincible. I really wish he I had Shadowheart here. here. Commanding an army of the Absolute intent on destroying Baldur's Gate. I put an arrow through his eye myself. Only to watch him pluck it out like a splinter. He healed right in front of me and chased us into the shadows. Things looked hopeless. But experience has taught me that no matter how bleak things look, there's always hope. Okay. You are that hope. Well... Invincibility, that's powerful magic. Thankfully, I have my own. And the wit to know when it will not avail you, I think. We must try another way. Protected by your artifact, you can infiltrate his forces at Moonrise Towers, posing as a true soul. How do you know about the artifact? Find out I haven't what it is mentioned that makes it. Him invincible, so we can strip him of his advantage. Once Gatherick is without his shield, the sword. Together, we assault his tower and put a final end to this blight. Is without shield. Um, Catherick's days are numbered. I'll make sure of it. You want to make use of my infection? I want to be cured of it. Any cure starts with understanding the disease. Whatever magic Catherick's using to control these tadpoles, it must be at moonrise. Until then, we keep drinking wine when we meet. <laughs> How do I reach him? The towers are surrounded by shadows. You're not our only secret weapon. Isabel, a faithful cleric of Siluna. Oh, I... And a light in the you know what? I, I have... When did I save it? Before? I think I saved it before I went and did my modifications. Uh, I'm going to load that. I have no idea what she's saying right now. I'm going to come back here with Shadowheart because this is Catherick Thorm, Saluna Cleric. Like. <laughs>
I really should have thought that through better. I didn't. I honestly didn't think that Catherick Thrawn or a saloon cleric was were going to pop up. So I'll be right back once I've sorted out the right party and got my respect done again. Shadow Heart and my party yes. now. Let's go You're through welcome. this conversation again. Have a drink. To your very good health. Um, you'll have to pardon my friend. Yeah. I mean, it's an honor, milady. I will <laughs> gladly drink to your health as well, Garlac. Well, we're gonna smell the wine. We know what's in it because of last time, but that's fine. We're gonna do Did it again anyway. A faint hint of cloth grass, a herb that is said to elicit the truth. Jahira smiles at you knowingly. It doesn't spoil the taste, if that's what you're wondering. Sorcerer, I'm not always in control of my magic. Who knows what will happen if I drink this? You will be refreshed, and I will be reassured. Drink the wine. Bottoms up. Shadowheart disapproves of that. That's fine. Her approval's up high enough that I can afford it. It's better than Asterion's well, dropping, honestly. Old, and yet it hasn't lost a hint of flavor. Still not quite so sure about you, though. People tend to lose more than just flavor when illithids get their hands on them. I speak from experience. There's an air about you. Something alien. Answer me true and do not lie. The parasite is changing you. Isn't it? Well... I'm fighting it, so the options... Oh, yeah, see this is... I was trying to work out if lie to her was a different option. I'm not lying to her. I'm pretty happy telling the truth. Yes, the parasite is giving me powers. It's changing me for the better. No, not for the better. Um, it's changing me to win me over. Uh, trying to change me, but I'm resisting its temptations. Continue to resist. Yes. Good. I will take your word for it. I will not. And hold you to it, too. I have every reason to be cautious. I've traced people like you. People with parasites in their brains. All the way here from Baldur's Gate. The cult of the Absolute is spreading through the city. Quietly, quickly, and with unsettling deliberation. We tracked them to this ancient village, only to be faced with a man we killed and buried over a century ago. Uh, who or what is he? General Cadric Thorm. Yep. Remember that name. He's the leader of the Absolutists. He was a Sharan once. Took to building an army of dark justiciers beneath this very village. Alongside the local druids, we made it our business to see him deposed, dead and buried. But he's returned. Not really, Shadowheart's not going to say Thorm anything? Again. It seems he is no longer mortal. He has become, in fact, invincible. We met him on the road here. Nope, she's not going to say anything. Commanding an army of the Absolute intent on destroying Baldur's Gate. I put an arrow through his eye myself. Only to watch him pluck it out like a splinter. He healed right in front of me and chased us into the shadows. Things looked hopeless. But experience has taught me that no matter how bleak things look, there's always hope. Okay. You are that hope. Well. Sorcerer invincibility. That's powerful magic. Thankfully, I have my own. And the wit to know when it will not avail you, I think. We must try another way. Protected by your artifact, you can infiltrate his forces at Moonrise Towers, posing as a true soul. Find out what it is that makes him invincible, so we can strip him of his advantage. It's Once surrounded by shadows. Shield, the sword. Together, we assault his tower and put a final end to this blight. Um, Ketherick's day is a number. Uh, 
I'll make sure of it. You want to make use of my infection? I want to be cured of it. Any cure starts with understanding the disease. Whatever magic Gatherick's using to control these tadpoles, it must be at Moonrise. Until then, we keep drinking wine when we meet. Mm, how do I reach him? The towers are surrounded by shadows. You're not our only secret weapon. Isabel, a faithful cleric of Seluna, and a light in the darkness. She cast the moon shield around the inn. It's the only reason we're still alive. She's upstairs in her chambers. Tell her I sent you, and she'll see you through the shadows safely. Do you want to say anything about all that, Shadowheart? Well, my day just improved. Um, Did you want something? Catherick Throm, what do you think of him? Difficult to say. A fellow servant of the Night Singer would surely be an ally to me under most circumstances. But something doesn't add up. I'll need to see where his allegiances truly lie. It's irrelevant. Ugh, I want to talk about it. I'm leaning more and more towards breaking up with you. Because this really isn't working for me. Um, what is that noise? Cheer. There's always a first time. Okay, Karlak, you happy about Copy meeting me? Your thoughts. Yeah, um, no, apparently not. Okay. Hey, Mom. Good. Let's talk to her again, see if there's any follow-ups. She'll be expecting you. It uh, looks like no. Okay, I will use Shadowheart when talking to Isabel. Should we do that first and come back down to Raphael, or will sure. Raphael Have disappear if I do that? Stock. You know what? Back to camp, grabbing Asterion, then talk to Raphael, then swap back again to Shadowheart. I think that's the best way to go about it. So I'll be right back. Premium trinkets and doodahs. But if you want a true you. vampire, I'm happy to recommend one. Okay, here we go. Mole and Raphael. Your move, Mole. You trap me. I didn't even want to take this one. Kalim Shan rules, dear. The first piece touched is the first piece moved. That's garbage! No matter where the night goes, I'm gonna lose it! Then make the sacrifice useful. Guard your Mistra, or come for my Cyric. What's going on here? Look who made it! For once, I saved your butt out there, didn't I? We're square now, Chief. Say, do you play lance ball by any chance? It's my first time playing. The keen gleam in Mole's eyes reveals the lie. She knows the game well, and she wants to win. <laughs> Accidentally jostles, jostle the board Mole's way. Yeah, put pressure on me. Put pressure on him, attack the pieces in front of the king. Fall back, protect your queen. Ooh, I don't actually know. Oh. I'm gonna try slide a hand. I don't think this will be easy. It's not too bad. As long as we roll the five, we've got it. That's got it. <laughs> Asterion and Karlik both approve of that. How's Good. that for Kalimshan rolls? Brava. Lovely work. I see I was right to make you the offer I did. You will 
consider it, weren't you? What offer? Do girl, you know precisely. What a lovely specimen she is. A blushing apple begging to be plucked. Stop it. Please let me smack this creep. You're all... I'm she cheats all... it, of course. But that's half her charm. Just bugger the hell off, back off to hell, would you? Hell is wherever I take it. I just call it hope, remember? But don't you worry about Moll. It goes without saying. She still has the unconditional freedom to choose the only option she has left. Now, let's talk about you. I sense there's something you want to ask me. I do. I have a proposal for you. A proposal? <laughs> if you're hoping to taste my blood, little vampling, think again. It burns hotter than wyvern whiskey. This is serious business. Devil. My old, well, a long time ago, someone carved some runes into my back. I'd rather like to know what they say. Hmm. This is a bad idea, Asterion. We should find another way. Oh, such impatience. It's something very important to your master. But is it a love letter? A warning? Or... A deed of ownership. I could give you all the gory details. But of course, you'll have to do something for me first. Let me think about it and get back to you. You'll get back to me? This is important, devil. When? Don't worry. I'm motivated to help you. Scars often tell such wonderful stories. I think yours might be truly exquisite. I'll see you soon. Well, that went nowhere for you. Don't be shy. Have a gander at the finest stock. Okay, Asterion, I forgot to take your mask off again, didn't I? There you go. Oh, well. Will first, I guess. A blushing apple begging to be plucked. Mm, Raphael's angling for the girl's soul. Um, if she, if she's, Mole's an obstinate one. If she's of a mind to team up, team up with Raphael, there's no changing it. We need to warn her away from Raphael before it's too late. Mm, we should at least try. The girl's as bold as a lamb cavorting in a lion's den. But I think she's clever enough to flee before the jaws close around her neck. One way or another, she'll see there's no winning Raphael's game. And she'll walk away. I hope you're right. You've seen what happens when a bound soul reaches for freedom. I can't imagine what cruel penance Moll would pay if she were ever to resist that fell bastard. Okay. Well, we got a lot of inspiration there, which it's a shame you can only have four inspiration points at once. You have nothing to say about it. Hello. What can I do for you? Do you want to talk about? Nope, you don't? Okay. Well, then you can go back to camp. I'm hurt. I, well... And I'm gonna go grab... Grab Shadowheart from camp. Here we go. At the ready. First in my heart. Interesting that Asterion's taking some time to get back here. Oh, there he is. you'd come to chat. You need to come with me, because we've got some things to talk about with Cleric of Saloon, which is going to be 
magnificent. Well, I hope it will. Unless you have nothing to say. Okay, now where did Mole go? Hey, kids. If this is about Roland, go away. I'm sorry he was been. He acts like he wished we weren't here. Like he wished he hadn't saved us. He... Uh, he's more immature than you are. Although, uh, but he did save you and that's what matters. And now we're just trying to save him from drinking himself stupid. I know, you're doing good, kid. I get it. You're trying to look after him. Yeah. He did save us after all. Anyway, it's his loss. What do you mean, his loss? I found this book. Old, dusty, full of strange lettering. Okay, sure this was a good magic. person to talk to. I was going to give it to Roland so he could learn new spells, you know? Beats drinking till he forgets the ones he knows. Um, that's a great gift. I'm sure he'll love it. Oh, I really want to read it for myself. I'm gonna make a save right here. I'm gonna see both outcomes. I would prefer to give it to him for a story reason, but if it unlocks this book of necromancy I've been hauling around. It's for Roland. Okay, never mind. Uh, do you really want to. Uh, no, nah, um, you know what? If it's for, uh, I'm going to see what this is, then I'm going for the other option. Unless it opens my book of necromancy and then this is staying. <laughs> Guess you can have it then. I don't care. What is it? What is it? What is it? Anyway, I'm sick of talking. You can go now. Bye-bye. Way of the Wanderer. How to convey that which I know deep within myself to be true. Would it... Would that I could bring each of you reading these words into this head of mine. This heart of mine feeling as one. Perhaps I could then speak the words that I fail to describe. That home isn't home unless you're far from home. That love isn't love unless it unleashes you. That the sky is infinitely big as long as you can always see it. Do you... Do I make sense? I think not. But perhaps... The... Peripatetic... Uh, peripatetic? I have no idea what that word is. Peripatetic. Peripatetic. No idea. Peripatetic patter of these words can create some rhythm approximating the joy of feet on the road with naught but everything ahead. Okay, it's a useless book, but we've read it. Now we're reloading to do the option I originally wanted to do, except if it opened my necromancy book, which it doesn't. So it is for Roland. I don't care if it gives us anything at all from reading it. I don't think it does based on what I just read. But it's for Roland, so we're going back to this choice to give it to Roland, which is what I wanted to do anyway, unless it opened the necromancy book. That is why I did the save and the reload, because I need the code to get into that book. I don't think that was it. I'm almost certain that wasn't it. I was going to give it to Roland. That's a so great gift. I'm sure he'll love it. Maybe. Thanks for talking and stuff. Okay. I should speak up. Now let's talk to you. I tried telling Mr. Roland that he'd had enough too. He didn't like it then either. Okay. Now where did the kid One go to? to break. There's another door here. Let the rot in prison while Baldur's Gate burns. Far from it. 
we need a way into the towers, I intend to find one. Burlap sack? No traps, please. Any more of our people into the curse. Nothing there. Harper's testimonial. Uh, one. A Harper's testimonial. The last stand of Kethric Thrawn, Chosen of Shah. The pursuant text describes a battle between Kethric Thrawn's faithful and the magical Harper forces. I do not know what magic the Dark Justicia has summoned to our plane, but if it came from the Weave, then it be cursed for eternity. Let it be cursed for eternity. These, for three days we sieged the towers. For three days their dark bolts cleaved our ranks. And on the third day, as his men and women at the last at last began to fall, Ketherick entered battle. Premium trinkets and doodads. The flow of I think have we read this? Here you find a rich history of the Jonathar River. Evidently, it flowed through half a dozen settlements, more and more springing up over time. The picture in this book evokes... Uh, the picture this book evokes is that it lasts a hundred years. One of barges drifting over the orange water under the burning autumn sky, and the barges smelling of casked wine, salted pork, exciting spices, less, less exciting spices, like rosemary, which is still fragrant and nice, but altogether not terribly exciting, and children running barefoot by the banks, we waving to the grinning and sweating sailors from their play amongst the river reeds. Okay. Anything in here? Enjoy. Scroll of protection. Wooden trunk. Backpack. And backpack. And... Okay, send that to Kalak, and I'll take that lot. Okay, now, let's see how we're doing. You, Counselor. He still won't speak. Just keeps going with the bloody song. Nothing of use on his person. His original writ of duty. Signed by Eltan himself. Fella must be one of the very first flaming fist. He must know something. Let's not give up on him yet. Hello. Florick. Hells. I know that voice. Will. In Timora's name, what happened to you? The Hells have had their vengeance. And I doubt they are done with me. Ye gods. Fate has no shortage of troubles to burden us with. I don't suppose you found a way into the towers? I haven't been there yet. Um, what's with the fellow in the cot? Isabel cleared this place, and he just appeared. We think he's staying at the inn when the curse fell, which means he's been trapped inside for a century. It beggars belief he's alive at all. Hopefully, he'll come round. Tell us something useful about getting through the shadows. Right now, he seems to have little more to him than a refrain from some song or other. Okay. Um, what can you tell me about Isabel? Cleric of Saluna. She's got a room upstairs if you want to meet her. Just don't interrupt her while she's doing whatever it is that keeps this place shadow free. Fair enough. Um, I doubt that man will recover any time soon. I'd like to talk to him. Wouldn't we all? I'm not even sure he's fully conscious, but feel free to say hello. Maybe a new face will inspire him. I have Unfortunately, very inspiring. I be here when he comes around. I'm heading to Baldur's Gate to seek reinforcements. Good luck. The council sent a carrier pigeon with news that the city has been dealing with absolutist attacks. The Steel Watch is holding strong. I'll request that Lord Gortash send some of them to aid in the fight against Moonrise. The curse won't harm them. Holy shit. That's my old boss. The guy who sold me to Zariel. Gortash, as in Enver Gortash. Last I knew, he was a minor player in city affairs. A lot's changed since you left Baldur's Gate, Will. Gortash has gained considerable influence since then. Um... Who is this Lord Gol Gortash? Um, what are the Steel Watch? No, let's find out about... 
Gortash. Lord Gortash is the man responsible for the creation of the Steel Watch. It's no wonder he earned the title. The Steel Watch are the future of warfare. Gondian automatons that can be sent into battle without risking any lives, except those of our enemies. Lord Gortash had only completed work on the prototypes before Ravengard and That's I That's the Elton, deal he made. But even they were formidable. With the steel watch at our backs, we can storm the tower whatever Kethric throws at us. I'm sure of it. That's the deal he I'll made with Zariel. But there's every chance I'll fall to the curse of all the cult before I reach the city. Don't count on me and assume no aid is coming. Work with Jahira. That harper's mind is as sharp as her blade. Follow her guidance. Farewell. We'll meet again, God's willing. Can I speak to you more? I had more questions. The journey back to Baldur's Gate won't be easier, but your task here is harder still. Timora be with you. I guess not. Okay, you have something to say, Karlak, which is not Sir surprising. Gortash is a lord now. I'd like to clap eyes on this steel watch of his. You already know the story. I was Gortash's bodyguard, loyal as they come, when he made the deal with Zariel. She got a test subject for her infernal engine. I never found out what he got. I think we this know. Is the kind of man who gets a title. Authority makes me sick. Me too. A man like that has no place in power. We'll make him answer for what he did to you as soon as we get to the city. No. But they always seem to get it, don't they? Premium Soldier. Premium. Well... This is getting really fascinating. Will. Well met. Um, the cultists have taken your father to Moonrise Towers. Florix confirmed we it. know our mission. All roads converge at Moonrise. Yes, they do. The Absolute Cult is headquartered there. What do you think they want with your father? I think I know. Why bother with raven guard the cults either murdered him no we'll go with they want violence they want control they want Baldur's gate who better than grand duke raven guard to surrender it who better than the commander of the flaming fist to dismantle its defenses i truly hope you're wrong about this me too shadow heart me too this is a great party right, to have they together. will infect him and the city's guardian will become its ruin unless we put a stop to it um, can we trust Floric? I was 11 when the Counselor spotted and slayed an assassin who stalked father from the shadows. I was 13 when she brought word of a goblin warband advancing on Rivington. Her keen scouting saved a hundred lives that day. The Counselor's loyalty to my father is beyond question. She's as steady as Tear's heartbeat, as upstanding as the Sword Mountains. Okay. Father's at Moonrise Towers, and we need to save him. You've convinced me. Uh, to Moonrise, then. We can't let the Absolute take Grand Duke Raven. We can't and we won't. The shadows be damned. Okay. Well, I'm sure you're going to be, yeah, way up there. Um, even higher than uh, Shadowheart. Um, right, well... Who you there's a dude in a bathtub is what the conversation is about, right? Heard you're meant to be heading toward the towers. Yep. Uh you heard right. Heard you were working on a way in yourselves. Not sure I'd call it that myself. This fellow's in no condition to help anyone. That makes you our best bet. Hope it's a good one. Oh. Flame color. That's your name, isn't it? Art color? I'm Fistula. <laughs> climb, climb, climbing up a tree. Daniel. We. We need you, sir. One of our own's been taken. A grand duke. You might know something that could help us bring him back. We found him out in the shadows, just wandering. Nothing survives out there for long. Don't know how he made it, 
or where he I came do. from. This is no physical ailment. It is a spiritual malaise. The man's mind has been gripped by the shadow fell, yet it has not broken. Interesting. It's Yankee. He has damaged beyond repair. Better put him out of his misery. Nope. Um, I've heard the name Thaniel from a friend of mine, Halson. Really? Could you bring him here? You'd be glad of the help, wouldn't you, sir? Uh, can he hear you? You hear me, don't you, sir? You might not be able to answer, but you hear me. What's wrong with him? A century locked inside a shower and curse will do things to a man. But you're not alone, sir. We're here with you. And I'm sure you've got relations, maybe some long-lived friends even, who want to be seeing you. Okay. Let me have a look at him. That song, have you heard it before? No, not till I met R anyway. It seems to be all he remembers. Um... Okay. Did you check for personal effects? This was in his pocket. He doesn't seem to have any reaction to it now, but he held on to it for a hundred years anyway. I'll see what I can discover. Thank you. Looks official. Yes. Worn letter. Um, assignee Art Cullen rank flame to obtain information about current activities in Moonrise Towers and all its environs, headed by a Catholic Thorm of the region's ancestral Thorm family. Thorm uh, orders take lodging in the last like inn and begin investigation into the local House of Healing. Reports indicate corruption, but no corroboration has yet been obtained. Note. Regions Thorm family are long-standing devotees of Saloon, but rumours indicate Sharan, a Sharan enclave might be gaining momentum. Investigate and report. Wake up. Wake up, Art Colour. Where are we at here? Wake, wake up. Wake up. We found orders. If we follow his footsteps, we might learn more about him. Please, if you have any idea how to get through to him. Uh, look for any signs of errant magic afflicting the man. Yes, thank you. I think we've got this in the bag, don't you? Oh, maybe not. Well, we're going to take a re-roll here, because this is important. There we go. He spent a long time in the shadow, Fal. A showering realm without colour or light. It's had a terrible effect on him. His mind lingers in the shadow, Fel, but perhaps it can be returned. We need to remind him who he is. Some personal effects, maybe. Seems like a good idea. Um, investigation. Look closer at him. Maybe there may be something you missed. Yes, thank you. Ooh, we can... Yeah, there we go. His fingertips sport calluses and toughened skin, as if from manual labour, or playing a stringed instrument, perhaps. Do you know where you are? If he does, he isn't sane. Okay. Well, we've got what information we can. Let's go speak with Halson and see if he can do anything for this guy. Um, art colour. Hmm. Halson. You might be able to do something for this man, so you need to try. And for some reason, there's a lot of this area which is counted as being in water, even though it isn't. You wish to speak? Yes, there is a man uh, uh, at the flaming flip, flame, flam, flam, blah, 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 flaming fist at the last light. Uh, the curse has left him insensible, but he's muttering about a boy called Thaniel. He is? Then I must see him. Insensible or not, he knows something. 
I will go to see him at once. Join me when you can. That's the plan. Premium trinkets and doodars. Okay, there you are, Halson. Daniel, there's no other way he'd know that name. This is just what we needed. Well done. We need to wake him. He must know something about where to find Daniel. Okay. Um, any ideas? If he was able to escape the shadow fell, then it mustn't have managed to consume his spirit. Well, not all of it anyway. We need to unlock whatever's left of him inside his head. There must be something to trigger him. A word, a memory, an item. We just need to find it. Okay. I'll see what I can do. I don't deserve you, my friend. What do you mean, deserve me? What, what's that supposed to mean? We're not a, th we're not a thing. I know there were... Ooh, hello. Um... Are these any good? Send those to Shadow Heart for now. We'll take them, they can go to Shadow Heart. Um, that can go to Will. I'll take that. Okay, now we just got some new clothes which look like. Oh, it's that set. Yeah, the set that I don't mind, but just. They're just. There's something a bit weird about them. I'm not, I'm not quite happy with them. So they can go to Shadow Heart to be sold. I'd like something cooler, something really nice. But I haven't found anything that I would count as really nice yet. Okay. Let's see. Um, those can both go to Shadow Heart. To Shadow Heart. Okay, so Halson will hang out here with the dude that's... Uh, been through some stuff and we're going to see if we can find mole somewhere who are you again I thought you'd be 10 yards tall the way Zevlor spoke of you Ceres scout seems we missed one another at the grove but the others told me how you helped us a pity you pulled them from one death trap only for me to land them in this one yeah I don't remember meeting you um so I don't see Zevla law. Don't tell me he's missing as Aye. well. And more than half the others with him. We were ambushed out in the cursed lands. Cultists of this absolute. Zevlor froze. Begged us to surrender. But they were toying with us. Making examples. And we'd had enough of taking it. Those of us who cut free just kept running till we found this place. Good work. The others. Maybe the cult got them. Maybe the curse. Have hope you survived. I'm sure the others did too. You did right. You don't want to be a prisoner of the absolute. I'm going to go with have hope. Zevlor had hope. It didn't save him. A little sense will serve us better, I think. But... Well. Thanks. It was sweet of you to try. Well, I'm still going after him, and I forgot to change out a casual back Don't into sure. my good shit. The now, where is Mole? There you are. I'll when dead. Friend. Don't How trust the dude. Back there? If we put our heads together, I bet you and me can make a tidy stack of coin in Bob's gate. Yeah, probably. Hey, Raphael's offered me a partnership already, and it... Seems like a sweeter deal than throwing my lot in with you. No, kid. No. No. Hang on. Warlock, be careful, little one. Raphael's a devil. They're lying bastards. Hardly fun patrons. Um, we need to stay away from Raphael. His deals are poison. So what if Raphael's a devil? 
means he's got the power to keep his promise. Also, a bit rich for you to tell me who I can or can't make deals with, all things considered. Look, please don't do it. You need to stay away from Raphael. Um, his deals are poison. Poison? Sure. You must love the taste of it. He seems to know you pretty well. He's trying to toy with me. I know him well enough to know he's a trickster. I haven't made any kind of deal with him. He's just trying to tempt me. Looked like he was doing a pretty good job. If I had to deal with gods and worms in my head, I'd make a deal with anyone. Look, oh, right. you saved us. Not knocking that. But after you left, Zevlor lost his nerve. Gave up the fight. I won't. You now don't there's no crow, it, no coin, no one taking us to the city. I'm not letting my crew get eaten by shadows. Maybe I'll make a deal. Maybe I won't. But it'll be my choice. It will be, not but don't do it. And not yours. Okay. I'm just trying to look out for you, kid. One of the worst things about getting old. Watching kids make the same exact mistakes you made. And knowing there's absolutely nothing you can say to change their mind. Then again, Mole's a hell of a lot smarter than I was at that age. Maybe she'll figure it out. Hope so. Maybe, maybe not. Either way, she can look after herself. She will. She's clever. Frighteningly so. True enough. She'll go far in the city. We've just got to get her there safely. You got anything to say about well, Mole again? No. We're, we've already talked about that. Wonder if I could con some gold off that cleric. It was a long time between the end of her conversation and us getting back into this. Okay, innkeeper's lockbox. I had a sip from a bottle someone didn't finish. Lock pick. It wasn't very nice. Mole says if you like it, it means you're a grown-up. Being a grown-up tastes awful. The innkeeper's journal. May the mood and maiden protect us. I delayed my meeting with Morfred only to find the entire masonry had already been raided and it's all its inhabitants taken for questioning. I doubt I'll ever see my brother again. If they get to him, I'll be next. One look at my shrine will tell me, tell on me, but I could not, would not, deny Our Lady of Silver, even under pain of what Catherick has promised uh, any who do not convert. Okay. That can go to camp, I guess. Read that now. Well. Let's go upstairs. I think it's about time we did. Um. Yep, let's go speak with this cleric of Saloon. Uh, those can go to Shadowheart. Okay, what else? We'll check out here on the balcony first. We've got a bunch of boxes. Uh, so far they're empty. They're all empty. What about that one? That's empty too. Another five over here. Any good? Nope. Nope. All empty. Okay. Why is there a hole in the roof here? I don't know. Is that something I can utilize? Maybe, maybe not. Okay. Anyway, let's um, let's go inside. Isabel's room. Isabel's room. Harper. Let's speak to the couple of Harpers here. Yeah. You were something else out in the shadows. Won't forget it. That's for damn sure. Excellent. What about you, Harper? I'll be honest, didn't think we stood a chance, not till you came along. Well, I'm glad I looked out for you, now that I understand who the Harpers are. 
I, at the time, I was going, you're better than the Absolute. I don't really know much about you. But now I have seen the Dungeons & Dragons movie, I understand who they are. They're, they're a basically uh, a, um, an organization that try and protect those who need protecting and try to do the right thing. So, you know what? I'm good looking out for them. I'm, I'm happy with my choice. Let's head on in this room. We got Isabel's diary. Present moon earring. It's really not worth much. Read. I'm not going to take it. Ever since I returned, there's been a filth in me. I feel it in my very lungs. I cannot get it out. I will never get it out. It will never out. This death that reeks within me. There are some things that even the Moon Maiden cannot heal. There are some things she would never accept in her devoted. I should ne have never come back. Well, that's interesting. Ooh, hello. Light armor. That looks kind of cool. Salunite amulet and Salunite robe. Would you like to share in these? Well, my day just improved. Did you want? I'm going to put them on you because <laughs> I'm kind of intrigued as to what happens. I uh, in. <laughs> I'm gonna save it in case it really screws some things up. Aha! Actually looks really cool though. Look at you! Wearing Zalunite stuff. Well, my day just improved. That is really something? cool looking armor. Um... No, we'll, we'll give you back what you had. I was just... Trying to get you to turn away! From the the death goddess, uh, Will's. Does it any better than Will's? Not really. Yes, it looks really cool. I wish it was casual clothes. I would wear that for my casual outfit, but it's not. Anything of use? We've got um, two variants of these clothes. I think they're the ones that send to, that uh, Gale normally has, but I'll check them real quick. Yeah, basically. Okay. Um, those go to Shadowheart. Alright, I need to go back to that. Okay. What else have we got? Autumn Cross, Wicked Chest. Okay, anything else around here? Stack of books that's empty. And uh, send to Shadowheart to sell that as well. Okay. Let's go speak with you who, um... You've got something in your heart you're not happy with. Don't know precisely what it is. Uh, I have something to ask. Hopefully, we don't interrupt you. The frame drops during cutscenes since that last patch have been pretty bad. Might end up doing a um, verifying integrity of files to see if it fixes it. You okay? I didn't realize I had an audience. Hello. The true soul who's going to save us all. I'm Isabel. Not a Please true soul. You. Um, save, um, and you, I heard you're the protector of this inn. The brain, the banisher of shadows. You may have the parasite of the true soul, but not the mind of one. Um, 
know your name but little else. Care to enlighten me? Yes, that one? I am a cleric of Our Lady of Silver, the Moon Goddess, Saluna. As long as I keep channeling her power, this inn stays uncursed. A defense to your offense. We've been waiting, hoping against hope for someone like you. Free from the Absolute's influence, yet able to walk among cultists. It's almost too good to be true. But I'd be a poor cleric indeed not to avail of a blessing when I see one. Let me guess. Jahira sent you to beg a protection spell of her favorite cleric. Yes. Thank you. I bet Shadowheart's unhappy about this. It hurts. Perfect. It'll make you immune to the lesser effects of the Shadow Curse, which will get you closer to the towers. It won't be enough to protect you against the areas of utter darkness, though, where the curse is strongest. This lantern should, though. Nice, we got a working lantern. Anything else I should know before heading off? Ketherick is a frightening man, but you have something he doesn't. Allies worth having. While you're busy in the towers, I'll be sure to... Wait. Do you hear that? Something's wrong. That doesn't surprise me. That's kind of why I wanted to talk to Raphael before speaking with you. I'm assuming this is Catherick Thorne. <sighs> Hello, Isabel. Marcus, is that you? What's happened to you? I've been blessed. You can be too. Come with me, and you can hear all about it from Catherick himself. Oh. Isabel, do you know this man? He's a flaming fist. Or was. He came with the others when we created this haven. And I thank you for your hospitality. True soul, my instructions are clear. Take the girl to Ketherick, alive. Wisdom, probe his thoughts for information. Yes, thank you. We need it. As long as we don't roll the one. A haunting face swims into your mind's eye. Its instructions vivid in your mind. Nothing is more important than bringing the girl alive. What's going on? If you have something to say, say it. Marcus is trying to kidnap you, Isabel. We're going to need to fight our way out of this one. Pathetic. The Absolute sees all. Your treachery will be punished. No. The Absolute. Of course. You can't believe them, Marcus. Ketherick will never give you whatever it is you've been promised. He already has. Time to go, Isabel. Constitution fail. No, Mole. No. They failed a constitution check. This is bad. Moon Maiden, guide my hand. Where's Mole? Mole is my first priority right now. Save the kid. Save all the kids. Hang on. Who are you? Do you have Mole? No. No. Down here. Okay. Do you have mole? No. Who's got mole? I really wish I'd succeeded that constitution check. 
Isabel, Alfira. Where's Mol? Where's Mol? Oh. When did I save it? Right before I went out there. I'm doing this again because I want to succeed that constitution check. And I actually have a decent chance to, I think. Because I've got um, 14 con. Yeah, 14 constitution. Which is a reasonable amount. It's not as high as I could have it. But it's not anything to be sneered at. So I'm going to try again because... I'm not having the kid get taken away, especially with where she's at. That would clinch the deal that would be made. Now, maybe that constitution save isn't the one that doesn't do anything in regards to Mole, which would suck. Okay. Let's try again. So I'm going to skip through all of this for you. Time to go, Isabel. We've caught back up now. Please, please, please succeed the constitution check. I'm gonna try once more. And if it fails again, then I'm just gonna have to deal with it. I really don't want Mo Mole to get ca captured though. That is shitty. I'm gonna have Karlak go after Mole if it's possible. This is our last attempt. Constitution failed. Okay. Never mind. What happens here? It flies straight out. I don't think we've got a chance to get her, do we? Hellish Rebuke. Okay. This isn't great. Okay, you... You do not get to walk away from this. I'm gonna take care of him. He doesn't have a lot of health. Karlak, when it's your turn, you're going after the rest of them. But this man, this man is mine. I'm gonna do that as a level 2 spell. Why, hang on, why was Hellish Rebuke done with a regular spell slot and not a Warlock spell slot? That really didn't do that much, did it? I'm assuming you're high strength. Yes, you are. Bye bye, strengths. Right. You're mine? That's fine. You want to come towards me? You can do that. Isabel's in trouble. That's not good. I really want to save Mole. Okay, Al Alfira's unconscious, there's a kid over there, we really need to look out for the kids. These, yeah, look, okay, first up, you are making a jump, you are jumping as far as you can. Go. Ow. Speed potion. I need you to take a speed potion. Not enough resources. Oh, bugger. Okay. 
All oh, right, bull rush exists. I really wish I'd used that instead. Um, defensive. I need you to go. Yeah, you're gonna take care of everyone else outside of this room. This guy here is for us. Right. Mm, too close, right? Okay. Um, silence. This doesn't seem like the best of ideas, actually. Silence. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Vampiric touch. 50% chance. 25%. 50%. Don't know. Oh, lightning. How much damage will it do? 3 to 30. Mm, I think you need to heal her if you can. And then... Okay, um... How about I pick me up? Oh, Sentinel. Give haste to Karlak, she needs it. Right, end your turn. Okay, right, you... First things first. Guardian of Faith, we're definitely gonna need one of them here. Next up. Drop in... That. Right, that's your turn done. Isabel, you need to hit Marcus. No, don't try and run! Oh good, you're healing yourself a bit, which is fantastic. Your penance will be paid now. Good. That's what we need. Okay. Good. All oh, your bonus armor is done. We're into your main defense now. General Tetherick wants her alive. Hellish rebuke. Got you. Ow. Okay. My turn. Right. Well. Magic missile, the shit out of you. You currently got hexed, right? No. Did you save from the hex? Hex your strength. There we go, gotcha. What is going on? Why is it... Zoomed in like that. Let's go. Oh, come on. You can do it. Okay. Oh, I really need you to get out there and help them. Karlak. Um... How do we get there the fastest way possible? Out through the top here? No. Rage first. Right. Bull rush. Um. Screw it. 
It's a 20% chance, that's a 50% chance. I need you to get in here, and I just need you to hit this thing. Defensive attack, sure. What do I do? I'm not going to be able to get to anyone else on this floor. I just need you to... That kind of worked. There we go. Get right here. Will. I don't know why you're currently wielding a crossbow. That wouldn't be the worst idea. There we go. Mass healing word. Wouldn't be the worst idea either, if I'm honest. Will it heal her? No. That will. Okay. End turn. Okay, that's working out. Good, you missed. Yes, take a shot at that damn thing. Okay. Um, your turn. Uh... Shadow Heart. Let's. Did you just walk into that? Oh shit. Let's do that. Good. Good. She's okay on health. Um, this thing can go strike that. And then it can fly over here next to him. Right. We're doing alright, except that we lost Mole, which really freaking sucks. I don't know where... Or how to get Mole back. I think she's gone and made a deal with Raphael there. There we go. I figured he'd be dead after that. Right. My turn to get the hell out of here. With haste. Do I I don't have Misty Step. Can I at least Um drink that? Thank you. Can I jump? No, because jump requires a bonus action. <sighs> Shit. Okay, can I hit it from here then? Yes. Okay. Um, run as far as you can, I guess. And turn. Critical hit. You're alive, right? You're not. Good. That dude's doing fine. I say fine. He's pretty badly injured, but he, he's fine in the grand scheme of things. Oh, did your speed run off there, Karlak? That's annoying. Where do I go from here? Whose turn is it? Will's turn. Right. You go out here as well, Will. Get ready to fire off a bolt. Can you... Target is too far. Right. What about for that? It's too far for that. For that one? That's even shorter range. Fireball! It 
might damage the people downstairs, so let's not try that. Lightning? That might be okay. Another parasite. Collect it. It might be useful. How much farther can I go? Winged horrors. Isabel, are you all right? I'm fine. <coughs> Marcus has been with us since the start. They've been tracking us this whole time. And that was no random attack. You were the target, Isabel. They know how important you are. But they don't know about you. Kederick will strike again. We need you to strike first. Discover the source of his invulnerability. Make him mortal so we can make him bleed. Good luck. Okay. We're in more danger than I knew. If something happens to me, everyone in this inn is dead. Like that. Uh, Marcus told me Catherick wanted you captured, not killed. Why? Why does a man like him do anything? Power, spite, some kind of twisted personal morality. I can understand why he'd want me dead. Without me keeping the curse at bay, everyone in this inn, everyone intent on killing him, is dead too. As for why he'd want to take me alive, I don't know. And I don't want to find out. Now that we have you, I hope I won't have to. Okay. Uh, once I take Ketherick's head, you'll be safe again. No mercy. For Ketherick will have none on you. End this. That's the plan. Maybe we oh. else. Apparently, going into Marcus's inventory is um, stealing. Why? Why is Marcus's inventory stealing? What happened to you? What's in here? Well, I'm gonna save it. And I'm gonna hide. Just have a few. Consuming parasites. You can now consume mind flayer parasites from your inventory to unlock new. No, thank you. Send to camp. I'm not using them. Shifting corpus ring. Invisibility and blur. Great club. Uh, none of it was good enough. I'm not going to bother. If it's going to start trying to go, oh, use the parasites. With a damn little prompt like that, the new. On with you. Unless you want to come back to a gaggle of shadow cursed harpers. Could be entertaining. Um, I still have a few questions. Go on, then. Uh, this curse seems incredibly powerful. What more can you tell me about it? It belongs to the goddess Shah. According to the Harpers, it fell here when they defeated Ketherick. The one who tried to have me kidnapped. I suppose they didn't defeat him quite hard enough. Okay. How, how did you come to this place? Right place, right time. When a cleric of Saluna stumbles into a Shah and Shadow, she's bound to set it to rights. At any cost I don't know much about you care to fill in the blanks I could say the same but perhaps we should save the trivia till we're on the other side of this thing promise Possibly. not to die and we'll celebrate with our life stories I'm not overly familiar with Saluna or Shah Moon and Shadow Light and Dark Divine Sisters ever at war and this place has become one more battlefield Sometimes life forces us to choose sides. Luckily, sometimes the choice is obvious. Okay. So you're an alternate cleric we can have, I guess. Maybe are you a party member? I don't know. Is everyone okay? Just wait. Hope the truth. Reckon you're our last hope. But can't sound worried. I'll be honest. Didn't think we stood a chance. 
until you came along. Okay. How do we let's go back downstairs. Let's Come see. Look. We need to find go already. But we don't even know the way to Moonrise. That's why we should leave now. Okay, you kids. Mo would do the same for any of us. I've got a you know it. You know I'm going there. How do we get into Moonrise? We can't fight those shadow things. Let me do you it. You know what Mo would hate more than anything? Bad things happening to us. L yes. You've seen what's out there. We wouldn't stand a chance. Guess Yankee, you seem very close to this mole. What is the nature of your bond? That is weird. Mole's revolt resourceful. You stay put. I'll bring Mole home. But it's our job to bring Mole back. Look at her. She's a proper adventurer. And if we got hurt, Mole would be really mad at us. Fine. But you've got to understand, Mole is family. Bring her back. Please. Definitely. I ain't letting no kids get hurt. We need Mole. Please, get her back. Don't worry, I will. Okay. This room. What happened to Roland? Did he just sort of get drunk and pass out somewhere? Um, where's your governor lady? She doesn't seem to be here. Now, Fury, are you okay, Ceres? You? Watch your back out there. If it's not the cult coming for you, it'll be the shadows. Yeah, probably. Now, Fury, okay? Save our victory over the Drider. I'll celebrate when Ken First, cultists nearly murder us, and now we have a traitor on the inside. Can't we trust anyone? You can trust me. Just focus on... You can trust me. I know. You've been there for us every step of the way. It's just all a bit much sometimes, you know? I'm someone you can fall back on, okay? I could use a bard in my party if you want to come with me. A child taken. And still I can only feel relief. If they had taken Isabel too, I... We were all caught off guard. Honesty will serve you better than charity. I blundered into their trap, and it cost us. You have the honor of making up for my mistake. I mm -hmm. trust mean that you we were will. caught off guard. Nothing new to report, but the search continues. I wanted to ask you about then something. Speak. I've heard your name before. Where? Ugh, some crusty ballad monger, I expect. They have me slaying gods or laying with them, depending on the bard. Okay. I heard it was both. You'll have to sing that one for me when all of this is done. In any case, it was a lifetime ago by now. And for all our victories, we remain on the back foot. We fight, we die, and we just hope that when our time comes, there is someone else to take our place. Stirring words. Is that how you inspire your harpers? <laughs> no need of that. Every harper is a bard unto themselves, I'm afraid. Help me root out this cult, and they can spin stories about you for a change. Okay. The shadows haven't consumed you. Good. Nothing new to report yet, but the search continues. A search burdened by unnatural darkness. But don't let that discourage you. Nope, it won't. Okay. Well, uh, we all have the blessing of Saluna. We are going to need it. Now, over this way, we didn't level up, did we? No, but we're bloody close. Which is good, because I'd love to get another level. Um, we're going to go into this house now, hopefully. Um, what does it do? Effects against the shadow curse. Even her light cannot guard against the darkest shadows. Is this the darkest shadows? 
I'm hoping not. It looks like it is. Never mind. That's a shame. Okay, well that uh, means we what? Go north. Go south. Go north up there, probably. Toll House, the Wandering Moon. Find the ledger. Investigate the House of Healing. I think we'll go north first. Simply because there's no markers there and I'd like to know what's up there. Let's go find Mole. Okay, we got some traps. Please don't run over any of them. Good. Who was the idiot? Who was the idiot? I can't. I can't. Oh, someone was the idiot. Who was the idiot? I want to know who who tripped That's off the mines. But at least they were buried, I suppose. Okay. Weave moss. So this is a graveyard. Send to Karlak. You need some weaponry. For your throwing ability. And that can go to camp. In case we get a bard. I don't know if we will get a bard or not. I don't know if we'll get like a companion of every class or if it's just going to be very limited. There is a, according to this, there's like a little thing up here, according to the map. Like, it curves around? We're going to go check that in case of buried treasure or anything else. So, curves around up here. Gotcha, thank you. It won't budge. Won't it? Don't burn yourself. Someone keep this flaming fist's face in. Grim. Yes. Dead flaming fist. Okay. Shield of Scorching Reprisal. Shield Bash. Blazing Restoration. That can go to camp in case we get anyone else who can use a shield for us. Should mind my step. Oh, open grave. Hmm. Okay, never mind. Not hiding here. Grave there. Never mind. Let's come down this way. I think we've actually explored all of this uh, out this direction now. Um, yeah, it certainly looks like it. Wicker basket. Fish. Good fish. Bad fish. Good fish. Then to camp. Backpack. Wicker basket, mouldy cheese. Okay, um, I think... Oh, you know what? Let's go up here, seeing as it looks like we can, and this is probably going to be something to dig up, right? No? I don't believe you. No use digging here. Really? Are you sure? Okay. Well, that puts us... Let's go down to this fast travel point. We still... You know what? I need to... I need to put a marker here if I can. Um, darkness house. So I remember to go back there. Hold right? Hold darkness forever. What was that? You were talking and apparently my, I missed out. Okay. So down this way, yeah? Good. Um, the Salunite Shrine somewhere. Who are all these people? 
Looks like there was a struggle here. Bunch of tieflings. Some of them I recognize. Worn key. Send to camp. Wait, how much was that worth? 16? That can go to Karlak. Look how many are dead. That's some bullshit. Um, send to Karlak as well. This can go to Shadowheart. This can go to Shadowheart. To camp. Uh, Memnos, Asherak, Ikaron. There's no saving these people, was there? Can I send to camp? I really wish I'd saved all of them. Okay, both of those can go to Karlak. This can go to Shadowheart. This can go to camp. And then in a second we're going to speak to the dead. Prison keys... Yeah. Okay, speak with the dead. Let's go. The corpse has nothing to say. No, but one of them will. Which one? Really? None of them? The corpse has nothing to say. Full, full. One of them has something to say. The corpse has nothing to say. There was no way to save these people, was there? Dead cultist. Send to Karlak. Send to Shadowheart. Hmm. Not like me talk to any of them. That's a shame. Let's go back this way real quick just to fill in the bit of this that we didn't before. Um, so it should be out this way. Black Hollander. Let's see if there's anything over here. Could we have saved them if we came this way immediately? I don't know. Really unclear, isn't it? Looks like an ambush. <laughs> Okay, what are these things? What? Are oh, these things measles? Look like werewolves crossed with gnomes. Okay, 65%, 42%, 56%. Oh, too dark. Right, okay. Good, good hit. Okay, um, examine, you have high dex, so let's curse your dexterity. There we go, end turn. Right, here you go Karlak. Um, Karlak rolled 14, they need 12. Uh, reduce it by one. Oh, that didn't work. That's fine. Uh, brand the weak. Expose weak points of the enemy. They become vulnerable. Okay. Come on. That's it. Gather up. Hang on, why am I doing psychic damage? What have I got that does that? Um. Oh, it's just the sword incidentally? Okay. Yeah, when wielded by a gift Yankee. Okay, you gain plus two to initiative rolls as well. Nice. Okay, Will, stop equipping that weapon. It's really useless to you. Okay. Um. Guess I could fireball. I would hurt myself a lot. But it's a lot of damage. 
Um, you know what? Let's go for something a bit smaller that won't hit me. That will hit me. Five to ninety-four. How much health do I have? Fifty-one. Oh, five nine to fifty-four. Um, there's a good chance it won't kill me. <laughs> uh, it's a bit pushing, it isn't it? Let's see. Maybe we should do this. That is going to hit all of us. That's going to push my people away too. I could move Shadow Heart. No, I couldn't. Um, Vampiric Touch? Sure, let's try that. That probably was a waste, but I did it anyway. Oh, hang on, you can recast it? Deals 1 to 6 necrotic damage per level. Um, for 10 turns you can use Vampiric Touch without recasting. That's actually not a bad choice then. Okay. Let's see. Let's um, hit you. And then might as well summon one of these. Like right there. Okay. Right, well. Nope, not a good idea. We could always do this. Or we could just hit them the good old fashioned way with a bit of a cleave. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This isn't... Oh, it is packed weaponed. Good. Okay. Um... I guess I'll do that. Dazed. Good. I'm heating up. Well... Hit them. There we go. Uh, and then... Have an extra attack. Radiant. What are they weak to? Oh, there's no strength. Okay. Um, 9 to 33. Let's go all fire in on this. There you go. Nice. Critical miss is always good. You missed him. Good. Do you want to just slice real quick? And then we don't really need any healing. You can just hit, right? I don't need to... Oh, you've still got five level one spells. Okay, never mind. I'm, I'm good. Um, level two spell slot. I guess, yeah, you can cast it at level 3, but you've already got one out. Okay. Can you hit? Good. Well, I might as well just wail on you a bit. Uh, dexterity... on you. There we go. Let's cut the fire, baby. Yeah, we rolled high enough. That should be fine. There we go. Wonderful. On, can't stay idle. Hang on, what? <laughs> How is there still a turn here? Oh, because that one's still alive. Have a lot on my mind. Okay, let's uh. Wow see what they have. Some gold. Um, 
Measles have gold. Measles. I'm assuming it's a play on the word weasel. We also leveled up, so let's get some levels going. Level 8 Sorcerer, good. And we get a new feat. So, cantrip. What do we want for our cantrip? We're very lightning based. Having light would be really handy. Especially seeing as... It lasts until long rest and we're in a darkness zone. We could cast it on ourselves after a long rest then. Um, it's... Yeah, because in terms of cantrips, what we're going to be casting most of the time is going to be Eldritch Blast. Unless they're significantly weaker to one of my existing ones, which I've got Poison and Electricity. Um, so... I might just take light, because that's probably the best bet. Okay, as for this, now we have some options available to us. Um, we could go with Grow and Shrink, Detect Thoughts. We can kind of do that anyway, though, for some reason, I assume. Because of the Mind Worm thing. Blindness, Limit of Foes, rain, Sight Range... Um, invisibility. Let's go for something utilitarian, because we have a lot of... A lot of decent attacks. I don't think we need any more. Um... We could go for Featherfall. Then we can always... Yeah, I'm gonna do that, I think. See what else we've got. Yeah, I think Featherfall's the best bet. Um... Enlarge Reduce is probably also useful. Enhance Ability, bestow a magical enchantment upon an ally. They gain advantage on ability checks. Blur, attackers have disadvantage on attack rolls against you. No, I think I'm going with Featherfall. Because I think it's going to be really useful going forward. Um, we're going to keep all of that the same. Yeah, utility spells are probably a good thing. Oh, there's also Thunder Wave. Also very useful. But I think Featherfall, because there's so many cliffs we come to in this game. Anyway, oh, we can do another ability improvement? Ooh, um, no thanks. Uh, we've got Actor, which, uh, proficiency bonus in Deception and Performance good to have um, your strength or dexterity increases by one no I want to get my charisma up to 20 which this will do and it'll give me proficiency in those two things and otherwise I'm going and then elsewhere and that seems kind of pointless it wouldn't have been if I had constitution at 15 but I didn't because I went back and changed it so I could have strength a little bit higher. So we're going to go with Actor. There's also Elemental Adept, having looked through all of these, which could be really useful. But we're not using our Lightning spells that often yet. So I think Actor's a better option, because it'll bump our Charisma all the way to 20, increase damage across the board, make me proficient in Deception and Performance, um, which I'm not. It takes them to 10. Deception and performance to plus 10. Wow. Okay. Yeah, unless there's something that does something similar to, um, to our existing, like, persuasion and stuff, but I don't think there is. Uh... Yeah, you gain musical instrument proficiency. Could be fun, but not really worth it. Um, two ritual spells. Yeah, I think we're going for actor. I think that's what we're doing. Charisma increases by one. Yep. 
Just double checking. Performer. Whole arm. Ritual caster. Uh, savage attacker. War caster. You can cast shock, shocking grasp as a reaction. Um, when moving out of melee range. So basically, you can cast shocking grasp instead of hitting him with the big two-handed sword. That's fine. I'm proficient with the sword so this will work fine okay Karlak didn't okay, level okay. up oh no you're on the edge of it though will okay you gained a spell fire shield read your body in flames that shed light for 10 turns, dimension door, teleport yourself and one adjacent ally to a place you can see. Uh, any ritual spells you can get. Banishment. You banish the target to another plane of existence. Um, remove curse. Hold them still. Misty step. Wall of fire. Create a blazing wall of fire that burning anyone who dares stand too close. Counterspell. Hmm. Flight. I don't know what to do for you because you're sort of at a level where you only have two spells you can do per combat, basically, because you then have to short rest to get them back, which kind of makes this really challenging. Fear. I want things that will give me a lot of a lot out of it. Touch the creature to remove all curses. We've got others with Dimension Door, so I don't really need to give it to you. Light. Take maximum damage from this spell. Sixty-four damage. You know what? This is a retaliate against melee attacks. It's good in the worst dire of circumstances. Okay, right. What do I want to do for you? I've done Magic Initiate Bard, which I'm pretty happy with for you. We could also go for... Um... Is there anything I can do that'll get you more spell slots? Mage Slayer? Nope. Could go Dual Wielder, make you a Dual Wielder as well. You can use two weapon fighting even if the weapons aren't light and you gain a plus one bonus to armor class while wielding a we melee weapon in each hand. Hmm. Could be useful. Or I could... Hmm. Bump your charisma and dexterity up. That might be the better thing to do right now. Yeah. There you go. And now for Shadow Heart. Uh, I'm going to leave your current spells prepared. Death Ward. Pre uh, protect a creature from death. Mm -hmm, that's fine. Um, you've got Sentinel. And then you're using a Mace. So... What can I do for you? Shield Master? Plus two bonus to dexterity saving throws while using a shield. And... If a spell forces you to make it, you reduce the damage. Nope. Anything that's going to let you heal better. Not that I can tell. Charger. You gain Charger Weapon Attack and Charger Shove. Not fantastic. I think I might go in here for you as well. I'm going to go Dexterity and Wisdom. 
Although strength is your weapon attacks. Um, yeah, maybe we want to go strength and wisdom. Get that up to a plus two. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, there's all of us leveled up. Now there's this area here to explore, as well as down there and over here. There's a lot to explore here. Um, I would love to do it right now. Oh, one of these, we're going to do this right now. Because there's a thing here. Ending torch. That's odd. The flame won't go out. Interesting. Ah, uh, a continual flame. There's no dowsing fire like this. Okay, what's this? Journal, log of the true soul, Corliss. Day four, scouting mission dispatched by Kethric Th Thorn to Shadowlands. Objective, locate nest of absolute non-believers. Reached outskirts of village, disturbing sounds echo throughout the shadows, must evade pursuit. Preparing to create a light barrier for protection against lurking monsters and deadly darkness. May the absolute guide me. Right, to camp with that book then. I'll take that one. Bleak Melinda. True Soul Callus. Well, you're the one who wrote that book. What happened to you? I'd love to know. We have Speak to the Dead. The corpse regards you lifelessly um no i don't want to extinguish them how did you die Unslaked hunger, unquenched thirst. okay uh how did you end up here trapped shadow mastiffs them with okay. Sounds like the mastiffs are still here, beyond the light. Okay. Where are you from? To water deep born to moonrise cold. Yep, that's not surprising. What is your profession? That's not surprising. Who were you in life? True soul of the absolute. Call is my name. Oh, there's our five questions. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. We did what we could. I like how my character refused to look at her through that whole thing. Examine. Okay. I suppose we could have asked how to extinguish the flames, but I don't really want to. Uh, could you come in here, please? We're going to have someone jump up there for that. Oh, do you not have a flame right now? Could you get yourself one, please? Thank you. Still breathing. We need Despite more people everything. with light, so breathe deep and move. For the sake of Karlak and Will. Oh right, I I picked up the light spell, right? Yeah. Okay, so we're going to. You know what? I might as well get another row at this stage for me. And then we can rearrange this a bit. Well, we can lock that, we can save it. We're gonna stick to four bars for our character now, which is, it's growing more and more, but that's fine. We need to make it worthwhile. Um, Making me sweat. Yeah, if you could jump up there, please, and just uh, pick up the chest, and then you can jump back down just fine, right? There we go. Good. 
and you can drop the chest somewhere where I can access it. Lockpick. Because I have some decent dexterity. So, guidance, 14. That's a decently high roll. We might have it. Yeah, we do. Okay. Radiant Orb Gloves. When the wielder deals radiant damage, receive one turn of Radiant Orb. Um, note. Moon Maiden, protect those of us who would not turn from you. No matter the consequences in this short life, keep these artifacts of your devotion until such a time as we may openly infuse our spirits with your white light once more. Grant cunning to my brother Halfred in his efforts to conceal the rest of your relics. Let the last, let the name Last Light not be a portent. Let your moon glow continue forever and fill our hearts. Okay, investigate Salunite residence. We're gonna take that. Saluna idol, really? Are you in need of a paperweight? Uh, what if I was in need of a paperweight? What if I was going to make you wear these? <laughs> uh, that doesn't do radiant damage. No, but you do a lot of radiant damage with other things you've got. It might be better than missile snaring. Yeah, I think I'm going to make you wear those. Um, I don't know what Radiant Orb does. Afflicted Entity has minus one to attack rolls uh, per remaining turn. It also sheds bright light in the area surrounding it. Yeah, that sounds good. Strength saving throws. Um, you can intercept missiles from ranged weapon attacks, reducing their damage by 1d10 plus your dexterity modifier. That is very good. But, I think this is better. Will. Hail of Thorns. I can't use that very often, I'll be honest. Keeps popping up. Like, the times where I'd use it, there's too many people near the enemies. So, I'm going to just make you able to intercept melee, uh, missile attacks. And this can go to camp. Because, yeah, I really don't get to use that much. As cool as it is... Light on my feet. Anyway, we have an area down here to go. I want to finish exploring just up here, though. If we could, please. And thank you. Yeah, just up this way. There's like a little little thing here. Um, and a little, little area over here, too. I'm going to go check this little little thing, this little area. Okay, that's all. Right, well, I think that's a pretty good place to leave this episode, if I'm looking at the time correctly. It has uh, been a decent, decent length episode. I don't know precisely how long, because I spend an hour mucking about. Um, but, so that'll get edited out. But I think it's long enough, so we're probably going to leave it here. So, thank you for joining me for another episode of Baldur's Gate 3. Have a good one, be kind to yourself, be kind to each other, and I will see you next time. Bye.